Okay, so next we're going to talk about uh, antenna repair and abdomen repair as well. But first I think we should introduce you to our parts department, so to speak. Uh, we talked about having spare wings and spare parts for the wing repair earlier. Um, but this is our parts box and there's a really fun collection of things that are complete mishaps or accidents from uh, working with butterflies and insects. And these are fairly easy to make. Uh, this, uh, these boxes are available at most craft stores, usually for organizing beads and things like that. Um, but we have extra antenna in here, abdomens, uh, legs, etc. that have fallen off from past shipments. And if we have a customer come in who needs some help with a broken piece, we can do it because we have spare parts organized. Um, so it's always a good idea to keep leftover or missing parts um, that happen to be in a, in a shipment or envelope that were unexpected because you never know when they're going to come in handy. The same thing goes for our wing box. So we keep a collection of uh, loose wings that usually are a result of uh, an unfortunate shipping incident or um, just miscellaneous wings that became available to us. Okay, so now we're going to talk about uh, antenna repair and abdomen repair. So this sulfur wing tip is really a beautiful specimen, except that unfortunately during shipping, let's say that he came in with a broken abdomen and a missing antenna, uh, which unfortunately in, in once in a great while can become casualties of shipping. Uh, but with a little tender loving care, uh, repairs are fairly easy to do. So we have some envelopes with antenna here that we collect uh, as we find them in, in different boxes and shipments. And we keep all different sizes. So you can see this is a larger antenna, maybe for a bird wing, um, a medium antenna from a papilio of some sort, uh, also a medium sized antenna, and then a skinny, smaller antenna, which might be from a morpho butterfly, let's say. So, uh, the key is to find the antenna that seems like it matches most closely with this size specimen. And in this case, I think this one might be a nice fit. That looks about right. So again, for glues, you can use several different types. Uh, 527 glue is a great option. And then so is a super glue with a gel component uh, to make it a little more viscous. And I think because of the size of this antenna, we'll go ahead and use a super glue gel. The gel super glue also uh, tends to hold antenna in place nicely exactly where they're placed, which means you don't have to use pins to stabilize the antenna once it's on. So the key is just to use a very small dot, uh, about the size, a little smaller than a pinhead. And we're going to place that as close as we can to the original antenna. Okay, like so. And as you can see, that's a, a very small dot and will get even smaller as it dries. It will shrink a bit uh, and pull in closer to the head of the butterfly and become more vis or excuse me, become less visually obvious. Okay, so we're going to take our antenna very carefully, just insert it into that dot of glue. Okay, now in that case it didn't quite hold it up in place. So we've got stabilizing pins, and we'll form a little X underneath the antenna and carefully bring it up so it's even with the existing of the left antenna. Okay, like so. And then we'll let it dry a bit, usually uh, 30 minutes to an hour should do the trick and then it'll be ready to go. Okay, 
So next we're going to try an antenna repair and this repair method is what's called a splice. And what we're doing effectively is taking the existing broken antenna and then taking a replacement antenna, applying glue, and then laying it one on top of the other uh, or splicing them together. Now the key to this is that to do it effectively you ideally want the replacement antenna to be on top of the existing antenna as opposed to side by side. Because visually, as you look at the butterfly, then the splice or the repair uh, disappears to the naked eye if you can successfully get the antenna spliced on top and bottom as opposed to side by side. So, for this repair, we're going to use a super glue with a gel component in it again because it's got a little more holding power for us. And this is really very delicate work, but what we're going to do is draw a little bead of glue off of the tip and then draw it along the antenna so it covers a little more surface area. I don't know if you could see that, but it's just a very small amount of glue and it covers about an eighth of an inch on the broken antenna. Okay, uh, so the next step is to take our antenna that we're going to place onto the broken glued antenna and cut it to the right length. So we want just enough to overlap the glue portion, which is about an eighth of an inch, and then for it to be even up top. I think that's about right. And then we'll take our antenna and carefully place it on top of the broken antenna like so. Now you can tweak this a little bit but not very much and that's a pretty decent job. We've successfully done a splice that's on the bottom and the top as opposed to next to each other so there's not too much visually that you can see of the repair. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so finally we're going to do an abdomen repair on this butterfly. Now in this case uh, inside of the paper envelope was the exact abdomen from the butterfly. But oftentimes, uh, if you can't find the original abdomen, you can also use abdomens from very similar species or similar size butterflies um, if you really want to try to replace it and try to repair the abdomen uh, but don't have the original. So, get a little piece of paper to put our glue on over here. And then two stabilizing pins. So with the stabilizing pins, I'm going to make a little X and I'm going to place that beforehand to cradle the abdomen once I put it in place. And we'll adjust those to be in the perfect position once we set the abdomen in its spot. Now for this repair we're going to use 527 glue, uh, which like I mentioned is available at most craft stores. And it's because it's a, a nice flexible glue um, that also has a good holding capability to it. A little piece of a little dab of glue on our paper and then we're going to get uh, a nice ample amount on the top of the abdomen there and from here we are just going to carefully place that where it was originally detached and you want to try to make sure that there's a contact or connection between the um, thorax and the abdomen there so that they are touching and the glue has something to adhere to. And then we can tweak the position of these stabilizing pins a bit to get that abdomen in its natural position. And that's all there is to it. And for drying time you usually want to allow three to four hours on this I believe it says. Yeah. 
it's typically a three to four hour dry time to get this completely set and uh, ready for use.